Hey. Hey. How did Sammy like the dry cleaners? Well, remember when you came home and told me the guy from the dry cleaner smells bad? Yeah. Well, now that Sammy knows how to repeat things, I think it's best to pretend everybody smells good. <laughs> Wait a second. This isn't ours. Are you sure? Unless your name is Javier and you work for Jiffy Lube. <laughs> no, my name is Greg and I work for you. A lot of this stuff isn't ours. This isn't ours. This isn't ours. Ooh, this is kind of cute. Come on, put it back. I'll take it back tomorrow. Hold on a second. This is really nice. And it looks like it would fit me. You know who else it probably fits? The woman who bought it. I'm just looking. You ready to go? Yeah, on my way. Thanks for watching the kids again. No problem, Greg, and I don't mind. Well, I guess your kid's father's working the late shift tonight since I don't see his butt hanging out of my fridge. Actually, he's out back playing poker. What? Poker? Who's he playing with? Some of the guards from work. Oh, kind of a last-minute thing? No, he told me about it a couple days ago. Oh, really? Oh, good for him. Poker with the guys. Greg, why don't you go out there and ask if you can play? Kim, you don't ask people to play poker. People ask you to play poker. If they don't ask you, you don't play. It's no big deal. I've got a bunch of stuff to do tonight anyway. <laughs> I'm sure if he knew you wanted to play... I'm a little busy here, Kim. <laughs> An idiot with four nines. That's a six. Why did you invite Greg to play poker with you? Because I didn't think he'd feel comfortable. Why wouldn't he feel comfortable? This is his house. Those are his cards. Is that his hat? Might be. It was in his car when I borrowed it. Jimmy, go ask Greg to play. Yeah, but he doesn't know anybody. He knows you. He knows Billy. Well, well, yeah, but ever since Jimmy hooked me up with this guard job, I feel kind of funny around Greg. I mean, if you think about it, he's kind of our boss. Yeah, what if we say something, he takes it the wrong way? Huh? We can get fired. Uh, oigan, uh, vamos a ordenar la cena. Porque yo nomás traigo cinco dólares, eh? Pero sí tengo un cupón. Bro, you speak Spanish, right? Oh, yeah. He just said he'd feel a little uncomfortable around Greg, too. <laughs> Well, that's great. But unless one of them has a guest house we can move into, I suggest you get your ass inside and invite Greg to play poker. All right, you're right. I'll ask him after this hand. Thank you. Ella va a traer la cena. Porque mira, me muero de hambre. Could you turn up the heat? Oscar's a bit chilly. <laughs> what do you think? Are you crazy? That's not yours. Kim, what if something happens to it? I, I just don't think you Put should... Put it in the back. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I know. I had to try it on just once. I'll go take it off. Hey, after Sammy goes to bed, w would you put it back on? I don't know. Will you put on the Jiffy Lube outfit? <laughs> Will you call me Javier? Will you give me a 16-point inspection? Yep, and I guarantee to finish in 30 minutes or less. Probably closer to less. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be a satisfied customer. Yeah, and if you are, I hope you come back every 3,000 miles because... I don't know. Are we done with this? Yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> hey, Greg. I got a little poker game going up back. You want to play? Jimmy, 
What a sweet afterthought. <laughs> hey, look, I, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't invite you. I just, it's a bunch of guards from work. I didn't think you'd be comfortable. Why? Because you're management. Well, that's ridiculous. I'm just one of the guys. I put my pants on one leg at a time. Yeah, but your pants don't have a flashlight holster. <laughs> I just didn't think you'd be interested. You know, I mean, we're not playing very high stakes. It's just dime quarter. That's fine. It's not about the money. It's about having, having fun with the guys. You know, you're right, right? I should have asked you from the beginning. What do you say? You come outside, play a little poker. Is that my lucky hat? Not so far. <laughs> Hey, guys. You all know my brother-in-law, Greg? Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Hola. So, Billy, how do you like working on the lot? Well, you know, when I first moved out here to be an actor, I stood in front of that studio, pointed, and said, God, please, let me work there one day. And here I am, a security guard. <laughs> Turns out you got to be a little more specific with God. Well, he's a busy man, <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Mr. Warner. Oh, come on, please. Call me Greg. So what are we playing? Uh, seven card stud. Oh, but we could play whatever you want. No, seven card stud's fine. Okay. So you guys are all guards, huh? Surprised I haven't uh, run into you on the lot. Well, you've probably seen Jack. He works the front gate. Yeah, usually I give you one of these. Oh, yeah, yeah, the salute. I didn't even recognize you until you gave me the thing. <laughs> How you doing? Good, thanks. And uh, you probably know Oscar over here. He's, he's from the back gate. Sí, hombre. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thumbs up. Muy bueno. <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, let you into your office at one time. Oh, sure, weekend. sure. The guy with the keys. You have a beautiful office. Oh, thanks. Yeah. It's on the third floor, right? I hear they're really nice. Yeah, if you're ever in the building, stop by. Yeah, well, they don't really encourage us to stop by the executive building unless we got a reason. Well, now you got a reason. You're my friends. You're coming by to say hi. Thanks, man. That's pretty cool. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. And wait till you see his office. We'll see a TV, <laughs> private bathroom, big couches. You could have sex in there. <laughs> you ever have sex in there? Well, uh... Oh, he did. He did. Oh, you were free. You are freaking thinking. <laughs> That's me, just a regular old freak. <laughs> hey, if you're ever walking around the lot, stop by the guard gate. Yeah, you should come by Tuesday. That's uh, when we get all the leftovers from the executive breakfast meeting. I thought they took those leftovers to the homeless. If we don't catch that van, they do. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Fluffy with a pair of dudes. Hey, Jag. Nice to see you. How you doing, buddy? Pretty good. I'm trying to stay off my feet. Playing as warts. <laughs> well, okay. Good luck with that. Hey, Roy, get out here. Mr. Fluffy with a pair of dudes is here. Oh, hey, Greg. You coming to work? Or are you just bluffing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I better let you guys get back to work. Ooh, sweet ride. What did this set you back? Uh, I don't know. Hey, settle down. We got an executive over here. <laughs> Seriously. What did the car cost you? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm leasing it. Really? How much you make? <laughs> Look, uh, I'm holding up the line here. Maybe you should just raise the gate. Ah, they can wait. Teach us patience. <laughs> Look, the five of us are taking my jet ski up to Castaic Lake this weekend. You win. Definitely. Maybe definitely. I'll have to check with the wife. Oh, yeah. I bet you got a hot wife, don't you? <laughs> yeah. 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 She's hot. Uh, look, uh, I got a meeting. Oh, meeting? Why didn't you say so? Come on, Roy, open the gate. The man's got a meeting. Oh, yeah. yeah I know what kind of meeting you got, you freak. <laughs> yeah. All right. Take care, freaky. Go get freaky now. Stuart, I'm sorry I'm late. I got tied up at the guard gate. Do you have that deal Mama finished? I have a meeting across the lot in 15 minutes. Yeah, I finished it last night. It'll take us five minutes to go through it. What are you guys doing? We're betting on soccer. Football. Whatever. No, what are you doing in my office? You said to stop by sometime. Yeah, I said sometime, not any time. Pégale a la bola. Mi abuelita juega mejor que tú. Pégale a la bola. Jimmy, I have a meeting. Oh, oh, no problem. Hey, guys, let's go. Stuart, I'm really sorry about this. It's all right. I just really need the deal memo. Well, it's right here. 
And it gets a little tricky right here, so we need to double check the numbers in the right column and see if they make sense. I'll give it a minute before you go in there. Kim, I really don't think that. Sorry, sorry, wrong tape. Hold on a sec. I can't believe Billy used my bathroom in my office. Killed it for me. I'm sorry. I just had a horrible day at work. What happened? I'm having a lot of trouble with the guards. They're hanging out in my office. Uninvited? Yes. I mean, I kind of told them to stop by sometime, but the very first day, I can't have the guards hanging out in my office every day. So why don't you tell them? I can't tell them. Why not? Because they won't like me. <laughs> So you want them to like you, but never come near you or talk to you? In a perfect world. So have Jimmy tell them. Can't have Jimmy tell them. He's part of the problem. He's one of them. <sighs> Greg, there's a chance this could be just a one-time thing, but if it continues to be a problem, you're going to have to be honest with them. You're right. I mean, maybe it was just the first day. I'll wait and see what happens. But no sense agonizing over it when I can spend time with my beautiful wife. Look at you. Come here, sexy. No, oh, please, that ship sailed five minutes ago. <laughs> hey, look, you're here again. And there's more of you. Have a seat, we're watching Ricky Lake. She's got fat babies. <laughs> Shouldn't somebody be guarding something? Greg, shh. You can't hear the fat babies. Okay, uh, guys, look. Uh, and this is not going to be very easy to say because we've all become pretty good friends over the past couple of days, but I can't have you hanging out in my office anymore. Why? What's up? Well, to be honest, it's, it's just... I mean, look, this is a place of business, and, and it's not that I don't like you. It's not. It's just... It's just... It's hey, Greg. It's birthday cake in the kitchen. Okay, thanks. It's him. <laughs> oh, Stuart. I don't know what it is, but he hates you guys. Ever since you started coming by, he's done nothing but complain. About what? About what? About everything. About the noise, about the constant flushing of the toilet sound, about the bare feet. We, we can be quiet. Yeah, and Oscar can put his shoes on. And we don't have to flush every time. He wants you out. What a jerk. I know, he only stuck his head in so he could see what's going on to get me in trouble. Okay, guys, let's get out of here. Yeah, sorry we got you in trouble. Hey, it's not your fault, and it's not mine. I mean, nope, it's not mine. It's just this guy's not happy unless he's making me miserable. Well, hey, cake's going fast. I want to make sure you got a piece. Got you the corner like you like. Thanks, Stuart. Nice to see you, fellas. Can you believe that guy? Two-faced bastard. Hello. Hey, how is work? Good. Talk to the guards. All my problems are solved. Good for you. Yeah. Where's Sammy? Oh, Christine and I made a deal. She took all the kids to the park so I could have a break, and when she gets back, I'm going to make them all dinner. Really? So you, uh, still got that red dress? Yeah. You want to go put it on so we can get it on? Okay, that's not exactly a sonnet, but let's go. Uh, we're back! 
Ah, here you go. They're all yours. See you in a couple hours. Christine, hold on. Look, I, I know I said I'd make the kids dinner, but Greg kind of came home in a great mood, and I thought we'd, you know. <laughs> So basically, I chased all the kids around a hot park for two hours while you took a nap. And now you want me to make them dinner while you have sex? <laughs> Would you mind? I don't know. Will you uh, take them to Chuck E. Cheese by yourself next weekend? Sorry, Greg, it's not like you're going anywhere. <laughs> Guys, what are you doing here? Have a lunch. It's Cheesesteak Wednesday. <laughs> Don't you remember what I told you about Stuart? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Stewie will be giving us any more problems. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? What did you do? What did you do? <laughs> All right, let's just say when he left the lot last night, some computers from the executive building were found in his trunk. <laughs> oh, my God. You got Stuart fired? No, he's just getting hassled. But the important thing is, he knows not to mess with the guards anymore. <laughs> right. The guards and our friends. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't believe you did that to Stuart. He's never done anything to anyone in his life. What do you mean? He messes with you. You told us he's always on your case. I lied. Okay? I lied. I mean, the guy's a saint. He brings Krispy Kremes every Friday. He, he, he chaired the company blood drive and, and gave me his cookies in his juice box when I felt woozy. Why would you lie about a guy who brings Krispy Kremes? <laughs> because I didn't want you guys in my office anymore, okay? There, I said it. I should have never invited you guys up here in the first place. I mean, this is my office. It's not your clubhouse. Well... Uh, I think you made yourself clear, Mr. Warner. Come on, guys, let's get out of here. Oh, espérame, se me olvidó mi torta. Oh, yeah, believe me, I want to punch him too. No, quiero mi torta. No, no, quiero mi torta. That jerk, he's not worth it. Oh, you could lose your job. Tengo hambre, tengo hambre. Jimmy, I'm sorry. It's just that the... Oh, my God. <laughs> Jimmy, I'm sorry. You know I wanted to make friends with everyone, but it, it, look, it got out of hand. No, look, you did what you had to do. I mean, they're really good guys, but they can really take advantage if you don't set some boundaries. Good. Jimmy, did you... Did... Did you just hear what it said? Heard it? Support it. <laughs> then uh, why don't you do it? What? Oh, I get it. I'm just one of them. Jimmy, it's just this no, is my no, space. No, no explanation necessary, Mr. Warner. Come on, Jimmy. You know we're friends. Yeah, you know what? I thought we were. You know, I had a really good time hanging out the last couple of days. But just like always, you know, Greg dangles his friendship on a little string. And when dumb Jimmy bends over to pick it up, he yanks it back away. You are being ridiculous. We hang out all the time at home. Yeah, that's different. I mean, we're always busy with our kids or our wives. I, I thought it was cool just hanging out as guys. You know, I thought you liked it too. But whatever, man, forget it. Jimmy, wait. I do like hanging out with you at work. I shouldn't have... Lumped you in with all those other guys, I'm sorry. You wanna, you wanna stay for lunch? You're not gonna yank that string again, are you? <laughs> nope, I promise. Heck, come by for lunch every day if you want. Okay. You want a soda? Yeah, sure, thanks. How's work going? 
I'm good. Yeah. Actually, something funny kind of happened this morning. <laughs> I'm knee deep in 109s. Well, uh -huh. Kind of have to know what a 109 is. It's a quarterly disbursement report for the department heads. Mm -hmm. And they get all kind of confusing. But what happens is actually quite interesting. Have I ever explained the company's finances to you? Well, it's really more complicated than what you see in the annual report. I like grape soda. I should have it more often. A corporation. By that, I mean we have... No, Radar or O'Reilly like grape soda. It was a good show, MASH. It's not just about... MASH. We also have a television... It was the monster MASH. The monster MASH. It was a graveyard smash. Oh, wait, Greg's still talking. Blah, 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 Look at him out there. Oh, my God, what have I done? I can't believe we're doing this. I feel so naughty. Uh, you don't have to whisper. There's no one around. It's Saturday. Oh, so I can be as loud as I want. Even better. You can be as loud as I want. <laughs> Giddy up, Javier. <laughs> Now that's freaky. 